Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create sea glass mosaics. Today I'm going to talk about what do you use for adhesives. So I've been doing sea glass mosaics now for about 10 years. And when I started, I didn't have a clue what to use for a glue. And I searched online and I couldn't find anybody that was doing this type of stuff. And I had no guidance whatsoever. So I experimented with a few things. And what I landed on was epoxy. You can buy epoxy with, it's like this two-tiered thing. You have a little squeezer thing here and you squeeze out the the two types of glue and you mix them together and then you put a piece on, a bit on the back of your piece of sea glass glue it to the glass so the reason why epoxy didn't work very well I found it really fussy to work with because you have to mix the two bits together it dries really quickly so I had to work very fast I didn't like the smell of it but most important I found that over time I did my first two projects with epoxy and pretty well every piece of sea glass on both of those projects has had to be re-glued because over time it's hanging in the window, the light um, from the sunlight and the heat dries the epoxy out. It can turn yellow which was most disappointing especially on the white pieces of sea glass and um, they fell off so I had to re-glue them. So what I have landed on, I really wanted something that doesn't show so that it's clear. And the epoxy did dry clear, but it yellowed over time, so I wasn't happy with it. I wanted to hold over time because my things are hanging in the window. They get a lot of heat, a lot of sunlight, and um, I don't want them falling off. I don't like the odor, so I'm looking for something without much odor, and I want something that's slow to dry. So like if I know some people have used hot glue guns and hot glue dries really quickly and I like to be able to fuss with it and move my pieces around so I don't want it to dry quickly. Um, if you, so that's basically what I'm looking for. I have tried the E6000. I notice if you check online, a lot of people are using E6000 with their sea glass. A few things I don't like about it, I really don't like the odor because I'd rather work with something that doesn't smell strong. And I also find it dries really quickly and I like to have lots of time to fuss with my stuff. So what I have landed on is clear silicone. So there's different types of clear silicone um, or there's different brands, but basically if you find a small tube, there's different tubes. I use this one. I've used this one, I've used this one, and it's basically whatever I can find. They're really easy to find in the hardware store, really easy to work with because you just, easy to handle. They've got a nice pointy thing on the end so you can squeeze out what you want on your sea glass and then put it directly onto the glass. It's great. Um, I do find that some silicone is clear it actually goes on clear and stays clear like this one what I do find about this is it has some odor which isn't my favorite and it dries quicker so I tend to use ones that go on white but it says dries clear make sure when you buy it that it's either says clear this says clear or says dries clear on it even though it goes on white it's going to be clear after some time and you'll find what I like about this, if you look at this piece right here, you look at all the white in that, you don't see the silicone, you don't see the piece of glue be or the bit of glue behind each piece. So I really like that. It doesn't smell, it holds over time. The only time I've had a piece of sea glass come off is if I haven't put enough silicone on, so I just glue it back on again. And that works great. Um, and it doesn't have much smell to it. So the other thing that I found, I'm going to do a quick demonstration. I'm gluing a few pieces on the piece that I'm currently working on. 
So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here to show you how I glue on a few pieces. One of the things that I find useful, I found this little thing that goes, a little squeezy thing that you can put on the tube. Um, I don't even know where I found this, but um, you can probably find them at a craft store or something like that. I've had them for so long, I can't remember. And then it just helps as you get to the end of the tube, the silicone will start coming back down into the tube. It just squeezes it to the top, makes it easier to work with. So I just have a few pieces laid out here. So I'm going to show you. Um, I just pick up the piece of sea glass, put a little bit of silicone on the back of it, and then put it right down. Another one, a little bit of silicone, put it down. Now you see when the silicone seeps out from underneath, I use these things. This is a barbecue skewer and I have a little toothpick which is a little finer to get into fussy spots. I just use that to scrape off any silicone that comes off. Wipe it on a piece of paper towel. Just helps things from being messy because I don't like having a whole lot of messy silicone all over the glass. So scrape that off. So I'm kind of fussy but pays off in the end. And here's another one. Put that on. And I usually lay out a few pieces and then glue them on. I don't lay out too many before I start gluing because I find things can shift all over the place. So I just get the ones that I Get them glued on and then I can use my barbecue skewer again to just kind of poke at them make sure they're well in place and exactly where I want them lined up compared to the other pieces so that just gives you a little example and I'm going to flip this over now to show you what it looks like on the back I usually leave my pieces lying flat until the silicone has set nice and nice and set so the pieces of sea glass don't slip out of place but it'll hold it there long enough for me to flip this upside down just to show you what it looks like from the back because you'll see from the back that the silicone is white you can see it um, because these have been just recently glued on but if you look down here at the section that I've already completed and it's been drying for quite a while you can't see the silicone it's all dried clear except on some of the bigger pieces like down here this is a big piece so it takes a lot of silicone the more silicone you use the longer it takes to dry but eventually though even those ones will dry clear and you won't see the silicone at all from the back of the piece so that is why i like to use clear silicone i've been very happy with it and the pieces don't come off i can count on them staying Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found all the information very helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. Until next time, this is Jackie with Sea Glass Mosaics. If you'd like more information on creating sea glass mosaics, check out my book. You'll find it on my website, JackieTrimperSeaGlass.com. Mm -hmm.